How to get started in game development. Idea and concept. It's fairly common when first getting into game development that you will begin trying to create the type of game you most enjoy playing, whether it's Fortnite, Call of Duty, Final Fantasy or Grand Theft Auto. These games are made by large teams of sometimes hundreds of experienced artists, designers, and programmers over a span of several years. Even experienced game developers who are proficient in multiple, if not all areas of the game development pipeline, know that single-handedly making a game at the same level of a large AAA franchise is nigh but impossible. Your goal when developing your first game should be to learn and build something basic that is playable by you and others. Your first few games should be more about learning and exploration rather than building the game of your dreams. So remember, start small. Video games combine many different art forms and technologies, and if it's new to you or you're aspiring to be a game developer, mastering them all is no small task. So instead of trying to develop the next Fortnite or Grand Theft Auto for your first game, starting with a smaller, older, or mobile game would probably be a far more achievable goal. Instead of creating your magnum opus for your first game, you should try to recreate a simple existing game from scratch. This can be a great way to help you understand the process in how to make a game and the basic mechanics you'll need in future games and how to create them. Additionally, since all the aspects of the gameplay, menus, player feedback, and mechanics have already been established and proven, you don't have to spend extra time in figuring out how they can all work together as a cohesive whole. Doing this will also teach you how games work, and most importantly, what makes a game fun and why. This also gives you a reference point on your skills, your area of focus, and what you need to work on or gear your focus towards in the future. That said, one of the most important aspects in this process is finishing your first game. As with any other skill, learning how to design and develop games takes time and practice. And in many cases, creating your first game will be like the first time you rode a bike. It may seem impossible at first, and you may stumble a bit in the beginning, but the more you do it, the better you'll get. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification so you can be the first to see our latest video.